The coronary stents are used very, very commonly in the United States to open up blockages in the arteries of the heart. And they stay in there permanently. And to prevent blood clots in these foreign objects that we're putting in, we recommend what we call dual antiplatelet therapy, which is a combination of aspirin plus clopidogrel for at least one year following the placement of a drug-eluting stent, which are the new medicated stents that are most commonly used for coronary artery disease today. Now the issue that comes up is that patients, of course, may need to have something else like a total hip or a total knee or a colonoscopy, some other non-cardiac procedure or surgery that necessitates holding the aspirin and clopidogrel. And so we're always battling this dilemma between bleeding on one hand and the risk of a blood clot on the other hand. And this becomes a very tricky situation, and this is what we try to address in the two studies that we published this week. Investigators from Mayo Clinic published two studies in the journal Anesthesiology this week. One of them looked at almost 900 patients who had bare metal stents placed in the arteries of their heart and subsequently underwent non-cardiac surgery. The other study looked at over 500 patients that had drug-eluting stents, which are the new medicated stents we commonly use nowadays and subsequently required a non-cardiac surgery. To our knowledge, these are two of the largest series to date on this very important and controversial topic. The most important findings of these two studies were as follows. One, the longer that we can wait following a stent procedure, the safer it is to perform non-cardiac surgery. Specifically, for the bare metal stent patients, if we can wait at least 90 days after implantation of the coronary stent, that greatly reduces the risk of having a heart attack or a stent thrombosis following surgery. Now the situation is more complicated for drug eluting stents because these stents do take longer to heal and because of that the risk of having a stent related problem continues over the first year then after one year it begins to trail off. So our recommendations are that if if you have a coronary stent, a bare metal stent, try to wait at least 90 days if possible prior to non-cardiac surgery. And if you have a drug eluting stent in the arteries of your heart, then try to wait at least 12 months prior to having a non-cardiac surgery, if it's safe medically to wait. Patients and physicians who are trying to manage their way through a non-cardiac surgery when they have a coronary stent in, need to consider a number of important factors. One, is it safe to delay the non-cardiac surgery for the time being, and sometimes it is safe to delay it, okay? In which case we would recommend that it be delayed for at least a year after a drug eluting stent. Second, they, they should ask themselves the question, is it safe to operate or do the biopsy or whatever needs to be done in the presence of aspirin and clopidogrel therapy? And sometimes it is safe to do that. If it's not, then they should ask themselves whether it's safe to do so on aspirin alone and just continuing the aspirin will reduce the risk of having a post-operative heart attack or stent thrombosis. Because one of the other interesting findings from our study is that the risks, risks of bleeding were not as high as we initially anticipated. So we're always balancing the risk of bleeding versus a risk of a blood clot and that becomes a tricky situation. Now the other, the last important finding of the study was that whether we have a bare metal stent in or a drug eluting stent in an emergency surgery is associated with a very high rate of a stent related problem. So if it's an emergency surgery then the cardiologist should definitely be involved in the care of that patient and follow very closely and to do whatever they can to prevent a post-operative stent related problem. If you're a patient that has a stent in one of the arteries of your heart, one or more arteries of your heart, there's a number of important things you must keep in mind all the time. First one is never stop your medications unless you've checked with your physician, preferably your cardiologist, the cardiologist that put the stents in. Because every patient is different, every stent is different, and in some cases it simply isn't safe to hold the medications on your own. So if there's one message that I can give you, it's stay on your medications for the duration that they were prescribed. 